Well, let's get to the word, praise God. You know, a lot of times people are looking for revelations or waiting on interpretation or unless this man said or that woman said, praise God, they, they don't understand. Or, you know, they're so dependent upon people and upon man, praise God. Hallelujah. But there are some things in the word of God, hallelujah, that are plain and simple. Amen. You don't need a revelation, hallelujah. You don't have to have, hallelujah, an interpretation. Because, see, the message today is, it is what it is. Come on now, hallelujah. It is what it is, praise God. If you would go to Isaiah 1 and 19, see, all you've got to do is read the word of God for yourself, praise God. And God will begin to explain things to you through his Holy Spirit, amen. And you'll realize that a lot of, of the word, it is what it is, praise God. Some people won't make a move this way because of, I've got to get this fantastic revelation. Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. You don't necessarily have to have a prophet to interpret anything. Every word that's in the Bible, praise God. It is what it is. If you would go to Isaiah 1 and 19 through 20. The word of God says, if we, if you be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Come on now, that is very plain. If you are willing and obedient, huh? You have some people that are willing, but they're not obedient. I, I want to do it, but I just can't do it. You have some people that are obedient, but not willing. Well, I, I'll do it, but I really don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Huh? But if you are willing and obedient, he said, you shall eat the good of the land. Come on now. Hallelujah. What type of interpretation do you need for that? If you're willing and obedient, you'll eat the good of the land. But he said, if you refuse, refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Come on now. Hallelujah. The mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Praise God. And that's as simple and plain as you can make it. Uh, if you're willing and obedient, come on now. You're going to have a good time. I don't care what it looks like, what it sounds like. Uh, if you're willing and obedient, God will come through. Uh, if you're willing and obedient, uh, you, you just call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Uh, if you're willing and obedient, come on now. you got Jesus on your side. Uh, if you're willing and obedient, uh, if God is for you, who can be against you? If you're willing and obedient, uh, you got the angels encamped around you. If you're willing and obedient, uh, you've got a hedge of protection around you. If you're willing and obedient, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. If you're willing and obedient, come on now. But if you refuse and rebel, come on now. We know that rebellion is as witchcraft. Come on now. If you refuse and rebel, you're coming up short. Oh my God, hallelujah. You got problems, come on now. Oh, you got hell to pay, so to speak, praise God. If you refuse and rebel, you are refusing God, rebelling against God, rebelling against his word. You ain't got nothing coming. Oh, but disaster and travesty and tragedy. Come on now. It's so plain, praise God. It is what it is. Let's go to Proverbs 1 and 10. Hallelujah. Know about y'all, but I get excited about the word of God. Proverbs 1 and 10. The word of God says, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, Come with us, let us wait for blood, let us lurk, lurk privately for the innocent without cause. Now see, he said, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. Now come on, young people, young brothers. Hey, you, you know sinners are wicked people. Come on now, people that do wicked things. If they talking about let's go hit this drugstore, let's go do this, uh, uh, let's go jack these girls, uh, let's go jack this and jack that, let's go take this car. He said don't even consent, don't even do it, praise God. Don't even say, okay, let's do it. Come on now. Oh my God, you got to have some sense. Come on now, hallelujah. It is what it is. <laughs> if they entice you, let's go sell some drugs. <laughs> hallelujah. He said don't do it. 
Don't consent. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not going that way. I may not understand everything that I'm doing, but I'm not going that way because I see nothing but death and destruction on that path. Consent not. Hallelujah. It is what it is. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's go to Proverbs 2 and 10. Oh my God. Hallelujah. 2 and 10. The word of God says, When wisdom entered into thine heart, knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things. Come on now, hallelujah. Get your dictionary out. Forward means perverse. But he said that wisdom, when it enters into your heart, young lady, praise God, hallelujah. Oh my God. And knowledge is pleasant to you, praise God. See, the only way knowledge is only pleasant to you, you got to listen to somebody, praise God. How are you going to learn? anything if you don't listen. Come on now. You need to listen to daddy. You need to listen to mama. You need to listen to uncle. You need to listen to grandpa. You need to listen to grandma. Because see, wisdom, praise God. Hallelujah. Oh my God. We're not talking about man's wisdom. We're talking about God's wisdom, praise God. When it's entered into your heart and knowledge is pleasant to you, praise God. You don't mind hearing what somebody got to say, praise God. Some good advice. Come on out. Some wise counsel, praise God. He said that discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, to deliver you from that evil man. Come on now. You know mama says something wrong with that boy. You need to leave that boy alone. Because see, I can tell he, he, he's a bad seed. There's something evil about him. Praise God. Oh, but you need to break away from that. But what do you do if you refuse and rebel? Come on now. You be what? Devoured. Come on now. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. But when wisdom entered into your heart, it will deliver you from the evil man, young lady. Come on now. Hallelujah. I don't care what he looked like, what he say he got. But if you are looking through the eyes of God, you're looking at wisdom and the spirit of the Lord speak through somebody that speaks to you and tell you to leave that brother alone. Get far away, praise God. You better get an understanding huh, and be on your way. Cut him loose. Come on now. Hallelujah. Oh my God. That's when wisdom in your heart and knowledge is pleasant to you, praise God. It will keep you understanding discretion. It will keep you, praise God, and deliver you from that evil man. Come on now, he done knocked you all upside your head, praise God. Anybody got to tell you that? Come on now, that's something you ought to know because it is what it is. Hallelujah. Let's go to Matthew 24 and 4. Praise God. Hallelujah. The word of God says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. It is what it is. These are the beginning of sorrows. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Galatians 5 and 19 and 21. 19 through 21 it says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of which I tell you before, as I told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, it is what it is. If you're doing those things, adultery, fornication, come on now, reveling, come on, just crazy, praise God, hallelujah, ignorant, come on, just doing some stupid things, doing some wickedness, come on, lasciviousness. If you fall into any of these categories, the word of God says you shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Mm. It is what it is. There are wars and rumors of wars. Afghanistan, Iraq, come on now. Iran, come on now. Hallelujah. Earthquakes in diverse places. Haiti, come on now. Oh my God, over in Asia, come on now. Earthquakes are happening all over the place. But these are the beginning of sorrows. It is what it is. We are in the end time. And you need to realize that this is the end. This is the last hour. Young black brothers, let me tell you, you need to get with God. You need to repent. Hallelujah. And accept Christ in your life right now, hallelujah. Oh my God, it's one thing to leave this earth, but it's, to go to hell is another. And I'm telling you like a daddy, or uncle, or brother, you need to give your life to Christ now and get real and get right, praise God. It is what it is. Now that the devil has tapped out, we have to go. It's been real.